so today we are going to do a uh, mango leaf disease date prediction using cnn so we can find the data set in kaggle and download it here in the kaggle and then upload the data set that you have found in the uh, in your google drive so that we can do it through google collab collab or you can just do it in uh, kaggle directly so you just need to go to core or uh, new notebook so that you will input all the data that is being required so you will get the data set here and then import so what i just do is first let us go into google collab and then uh, i mean upload the data in the google drive and then do it in google collab and i just need to upload it in kaggle so i am comfortable in that way so this is so uh, coming about the data set we have uh, eight different types of diseases that are be uh, eight di different types of diseases for a mango leaf and we are going to predict uh, based on the picture that is given on the mango leaf which disease has been occurred so we are going to predict the disease that has been in the mango leaf so now uh, let's discuss the code here the plant disease using kaggle data set that is the mango leaf disease so initially we import the libraries that are required for us to build a prediction model a prediction cnn model that is convolutional neural network so the the numpy uh, which is mainly used for holding uh, arrays so it's an array you can clearly see it here and then matplotlib for data visualization globe for path os cv2 for images visualization and the sklearn tensorflow and kras are the packages that are used for convolutional neural network model building so this is importing your google drive contents into the google collaboratory so this is mounting your files and then specifying the path where you have stored the data set these are some of the uh, like the size of the image seed that is required for testing training and validation the number of channels for the image if it is an rgb image the channels needs to be three and number of uh, classes is actually eight we have eight different classes number of epochs batch size input size and shape so that is about some of the basic variables uh, uh, declaration or initialization for the model now here we are using data pre processing uh, data pre processing for image we use image data generator package from the tensorflow keras processing image so this in data image pre process image data generator we use rescaling and we rotate the image for 40 degrees angle wide shift range height and sphere zoom so these are all the parameters that you can define in image data generator so you will do standardization and then normalization also and then applying it to the uh, data root directory that is all the data that we have found and next the data generator class indices so just uh, indexing or numbering the classes that we have found and this plot images function is used for data visualization where we want to uh, see the image of the data so this is how it is data argumentation is done like flipping the data rotating the data towards this angle zooming in zooming out and all next the same is done for the validation and testing data so training testing generator uh, and test generator for the images and converting that is important we have kept the images as you have seen in this we have kept the images uh, to be color because when it comes to leaf disease the color or intensity and the areas which leaf has been can also be affected like affect the prediction therefore we have kept the leaf or the image to be in color itself 
and next so these packages here is a building model so we are building a cnn model so here we are importing all the required packages for building a model and this is our model it is a sequential model and let's see we need to rescale it first and then passing it to the convolutional 2d layer with the activation function to be relu and next the these the this layer inputs and after the input is passed to this layer the output is passed to this layer with a dropout of 2.5 so this layer's output is an input to its next layer and next and this layer's in output is input for the next layer so similarly we will be getting the same the final output will be the probabilities of the eight uh, or the probabilities of the eight classes and the maximum class will be selected as the prediction final prediction so that is what softmax activation function does so that it does the prediction of it picks the highest uh, predict probability prediction value and next we'll use the sparse categorical entropy because it is classifying and categorical we use sparse categorical entropy as loss and adam to be the optimizer and accuracy to do the metrics and uh, we are next fitting the data so here is our training we will pass the training data with a batch size of 32 and then validation batch size 32 and passing the validation data and then the number of epochs to be 30 so as you uh, the data will be sent to the model 10 times with the uh, specified or 250 images together as seen here so initially our accuracy is 42 and it kept on increasing while the epoch got increased so total accuracy we have got is 97 percent and the val loss is 0.09 percent the value accuracy is 96 percent this is the total summary of the of our sequential model so initially we have given four for 48 parameters and then passing them this will be the input to the next layer and this will be to input to the next layer and in keep it kept on increasing and at the end it has decreased or it got flattened and uh, and we have got the answers or results this are passed to the softmax activation function and they, we have got and these are the parameters that are trained next we have saved the model in uh, model dot here model one dot h5 where the data will be stored here so you can see the file here okay next so because it is important for us to tune hyperparameter or find out which uh, which parameters combination give you the best result you just need to uh, do hyperparameter tuning so in a cnn model we consider learning rate and dropout later layer rate to be hyperparameters so uh, it's the same model that we have given in the previous things so we have written in a uh, definition uh, function format so create model is a function definition which consists of all the cnn layers that have been done with the same loss function and optimizer and metrics and that uh, it's nothing but we have kept the model in the function that's it next the parameters that we want to do is learning rate passing the model or testing the model with the combinations of learning rate and dropout so the learning rate values are 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.001 whereas the dropout rate is 0 0.1 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 so here is also the same epochs is 10 and batch size is 32 if you want you can also add epochs as a parameter and batch size also to be a parameter for cnn uh, and this is the model and we are cre 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 uh, calling our model and then early stopping does what does it do is whenever the accuracy has 
at some point when the accuracy is getting low this early stopping will help to stop the epoch rate at that point by avoiding overfitting so next grid search cv is a, a hyperparameter tuning method we are performing on our model to get or to find the better parameters and then fitting the data into this grid search cv through those parameters that we have declared here and then uh, we got the best score so the learning rate we achieved is 0.01 and dropout rate is 0.5 so this is about the hyperparameter tuning so we have successfully built a, a cnn model with an accuracy of 96 percent and uh, performed hyperparameter tuning and also used overfitting stopped overfitting so this is about that and this is the website that has been developed for mango leaf disease prediction so this website explains the code that has been explained in detailed so you can also refer to this thank you